Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Nigga! That shot last night. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Of course, and right in front of me. Great. I can see all my things, but I can't grab it.
looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! my shot but please don't worry we have all the time in the world for now I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie yes I still hate that word but I love the purity of your own image not like Rachel who was always looking in the wrong places poor Rachel Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Uh. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. <laughs> Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, 
You never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh. the shot. I can't believe that happened. So sick. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura, and those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath, and this is your last session. Trayer Max, I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. 
It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart, a battered old heart, a heart that needs ten. Sorry, this is not art. This is purity personified. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I wish you could see yourself now. This one is out of focus, but that's my fault, Max. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. A 
back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything for good. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. And frankly, it's bullshit. This one is out of focus. That's my fault, Max. One of you in a dark corner, and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started Max. this insane That's week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first <clears throat> self-portraits? I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do, to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. Submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. <laughs> Bastard. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? No matter who wins, this is I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. I also want everybody to know that this is not for everybody. I have my moment in the camera. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Everybody should have that chance, right? Oh, totally. I only For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. In Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. 
Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but... Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, 
you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Wowzer. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. I can't wait to land in Frisco. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get small. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Smaller, so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. 
I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wow, Sir Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. I need to drop some serious cash in there. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if. That's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit. Pretentious alert. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Hmm, that looks familiar. This might be too meta-metaphoric. Hmm, that looks familiar. This might be too meta-metaphoric. From Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. That one is kind of silly. Look at this print. Like, I do not understand art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. 
Bravo. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. And there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Just... Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good. How do these galleries afford to rent here? This makes me feel so sad. That I I was no fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... I always... Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. on now. It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first.
Fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway. Answer. My question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck! He, he burned my diary! Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... Weird going on with you. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please! Don't do this! This final dose won't hurt. for one last request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. 
Now I'm a little bit crazy Out of my mind I'm going slightly strange in the head It's all a little bit hazy But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead And I'm a little bit cuckoo Gackers Hold it! What? Barking And I'm a little bit cuckoo cackers Hold it! I'm a little bit hazy But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead And No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh... You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. You. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... Request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. It's over. You are not going Grab to stop bottle. me. Uh. Oh. Not going to stop me. Uh. Jefferson, it's over. Grab your gun now. Got it. Oh, oh Christ. David Madsen, you are... It's over. You are not going David, to stop. Me. Kick that table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> David Madsen. I always hated that mustache. You hated him too, Max.
it's over. Why you are not ball? going to stop me. So Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson? Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson but you won't need this anymore.